Hey guys, got an awesome video here for you on how to recover files or uh, your data from shadow copies that Windows Vista or Windows 7 creates. Okay, now it's the same as system volume information, it creates restore points on your system where we can access the data like we used to do in Windows XP, it used to be called system volume information and it used to be inside the C root directory and it used to be hidden. But inside Windows uh, 7, the problem is Microsoft have locked these down and they only grant you access if you own copies of Ultimate, Business and Enterprise editions of Windows. Okay, so the problem is with that, we can't get our files. So this guy from Switzerland has actually come up with a cool little program called Shadow Explorer. Now Shadow Explorer allows us to browse the shadow copies created by Windows Vista and Windows 7, which are called the Volume uh, Shadow Copy Service, and we can actually access these files. So let's install this program and uh, have a quick look. Now I've already installed it but I'll just quickly go through it with you. It's pretty painless really to be fair. Just go through the uh, motions there and install. Now what happens is Windows Vista and Windows 7 creates a point in time of copies of your files. This allows you to retrieve older versions of your files if you accidentally deleted them or if you've altered them in any way and you've maybe uh, damaged them and you want to recover these files. Okay as long as you've got system restore turned on and I can show you where to look for that right click on my computer go properties advanced system settings pull that down there inside system protection as long as we've got this saying on by default it's normally on anyway you'd have to physically turn it off and why you'd want to turn it off I don't know but what happens is this will allow you to make backups of your system now what I tend to do on my systems uh, are normally by default it's normally 5% I normally make this somewhere around about 20 of, uh, gigabytes 25 gigabytes we've got so much space nowadays do we need it all this will actually retrieve and make a lot more backups for us to actually go back in time and pull our files out okay if we haven't got it turned on we can go to configure and just bump up a bit of space and then just put that in there and click apply and OK and away we go and we can access this drives data as well okay so that's making sure that we've got system restore enabled let's have a look at the uh, shadow copy or shadow explorer I should say program now we need to come over to the actual installed program right click and go run as administrator this is important we'll do that just like so and that will open this box up and as you can see this is a now, now allowing us to go into this area and look at the files we can tell which files they are by looking at the dates and it's as simple as that really we can go back and look from when the date when we've had that file on our system now as you can see there's not many dates here and the reason for that is this is a pretty clean box I've just formatted it not long ago and there isn't that many uh, restore points on here but on your system you'll probably have a big pile of these I've seen hundreds in there before so you can go back way back in time okay so we can have a look at the drives here you can see all my drives but we're going to be concentrating on the C drive for this video and what we need to do here is I'm going to go to the desktop I had some files on my desktop uh, on the 29th and I want to uh, get those files back so what I could do is go into users go into the old Ruboy account there and uh, go straight onto the desktop and as you can see we've got this file that I was after it's a critical file that I needed blah blah blah, blah whatever and uh, we're going to right click and export this and we're going to put it in our test folder here okay and click OK and let's have a little look and there it is I'll pull this down and there we have it we've got our critical file that we need not that it's that critical but it could have been and I could have got that back it could be coursework could be uh, university work or anything like that photographs whatever may be okay this is how you get your stuff back it's not meant to be the ultimate way of getting stuff back but it's a way and as long as we can get data back that is the most important thing so let's have a little look at um, another important thing that we could use this tool for now we make I always say to you make uh, registry backups regularly now the important thing for that is is because if your corrupted registry suddenly goes tits up and you can't access it then you can actually correct it if you've been making backups now I know I made a backup yesterday just for this video and here we go it's right on my desktop I can actually export this now that's 182 uh, megabytes I think let's have a look export test click OK takes a bit of time because it's a, a larger file 
not a problem now I know that my registry is now playing up and I could actually restore my registry by coming back in time and getting my registry okay that's I'm not sure how the lot oh, it was 178 megabytes there we go so it just recovered that file that quickly awesome so there's also other areas that you can go to you can go to any other area that you want any system files or anything like that photographs my documents anything you like okay another good thing is uh, we could also use this in a pre-installed environment where if the system doesn't boot I will make another video on that uh, but I just wanted to quickly show you we can actually access um, registry files as well uh, from the Windows directory so we're going to come down to Windows System32 let's uh, go there ok System32 let it load up and we can come into the config area and we go to Reg Backup and this is where we can see the old default SAM security software and system okay so if you didn't make a registry backup we could come into this area here now these are created uh, new ones every 10 days of, as far as I remember if I, I'll have to check that up to be 100% but I'm pretty sure it's every 10 days these get renewed okay so we could use these files okay I'll make another video on that maybe uh, in a pre-installed environment I'll show you how to do that and we can copy that across I think that's enough for this video so thanks again for watching guys I hope you enjoy these videos if you do enjoy them please remember hit that subscribe button guys and rate for all my videos and uh, if you haven't joined the forums the link is down below get over the forums join the community and start helping out we have a vent channel now maybe you want to chat or something like that get on there and let's see you over there okay thanks a lot bye for now